ladies and gentlemen, the attorney for one of the police officers that killed George Floyd, Thomas Lane, says that these cops didn't kill um, George Floyd. Fentanyl killed him. Hmm. I wonder if fentanyl has a knee. Hmm. I don't think it does. So this came out on Newsweek, August 19th, 2020. George Floyd died after fentanyl overdose. Lawyer for fired officer claims. An attorney from one of the former Minneapolis police officers charged over the death of George Floyd has alleged he overdosed on fentanyl while resisting arrest. Now we saw them take George Floyd handcuffed out of the car and he was steady on his feet. He wasn't stumbling around or anything that we see in a lot of the fentanyl overdose videos because I've showed some of them. Totally different reaction. Thomas Lane, 37, is charged with aiding and abetting, second degree murder, and manslaughter. State prosecutors earlier this month rejected a motion filed in July to dismiss the charges against him. But in a new filing on Monday, Lane's attorney, Earl Gray, wrote that the state's response to his motion was a narrative fiction and his client did nothing wrong. Rather, Gray alleges that Floyd contributed to his own death by taking a lethal dose of fentanyl during his arrest. How did he take that during the arrest? So while the cops were there arresting him, he swallowed on some fentanyl. Uh-huh. In court documents obtained by Fox 9, he points to a white spot that he says was seen on the left side of George Floyd's tongue in the body camera footage, but appeared seconds, uh, di but disappeared seconds later. Gray suggested that it is two milligrams of fentanyl, a lethal dose. How do you know that? How do you know that? When, when did his attorney become that kind of expert that if you see a white spot on somebody's tongue, then that, that's some fentanyl on that tongue right there. I mean, there's a lot of white substances that don't necessarily have to be fentanyl on somebody's tongue. Wow. Mm, Thomas Lane, all I got to say, if, if this is your defense, you're going to lose for real. He adds, all he had to do is sit down in the police car like every other defendant who is initially arrested. While attempting to avoid his arrest all by himself, Mr. Floyd overdosed on fentanyl. Now, we all watched that footage. If he was handcuffed, because when they took him out of the vehicle, he was handcuffed. So how did he get that fentanyl in his mouth? Okay, moving on. Giving his intoxication level breathing would have been difficult at best. Mr. Floyd intentionally failure to obey commands coupled with his overdosing contributed to his own death. So he's blaming Floyd for his own death and saying, you know, the, the officers had nothing to do with it. Man, whoever this Earl Gray is, he's a lousy attorney. <laughs> he's a bad attorney. Okay, so Hennepin County Medical Examiner listed fentanyl intoxication in recent, um, they're saying meth used under other significant conditions in a summary of Floyd's autopsy report released June, in June. Other factors were not listed under cause of death. See, this is why you got to have a private autopsy done. You cannot rely on these folks. They have showed you over and over and over. They are totally unreliable when it comes down to us. You can't believe or depend on nothing from these people. And when I say nothing, I mean nothing. That is no exaggeration. You can't depend on nothing and you can't even really believe anything that they say. 
The medical examiners classified his May 25th death as a homicide, saying Floyd's heart stopped when police restrained him and compressed his neck. The Seaton's experience a uh, coronary, uh, uh, okay, so he went into cardiac arrest while being restrained by law enforcement, the medical examiner office said. In his earlier motion, Gray urged prosecutors to dismiss his client from the case, arguing that Lane was a rookie officer who was overwritten by his superior. Really? I saw him holding down Floyd. Okay, you mean to tell me he didn't have the ability to get up and walk away? I guess he must have been like a five-year-old on that job. Prosecutors rejected the argument, noting that Lane ignored police department policies that required officers to stop fellow officers if they are inappropriately using force. The Associated Press reported Lane and another rookie, Officer J. King, they're talking about J. Alexander King, held Floyd down as another officer, Derek Chauvin, pressed his knee to Floyd's neck for several minutes while he repeatedly said he couldn't breathe, prosecutors said. Lane restrained Floyd's legs using his hands and knees while King knelt on his back and held his arms in place, according to the prosecutors. To Tao, another officer kept people away at the scene. All four were fired. Chauvin is charged with second degree murder and manslaughter, while the other three were charged with aiding and abetting. Gray has been contacted for additional comment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess it's another case of don't believe what you see, believe what I say. <laughs> you know, don't believe what your two eyes saw. Believe me, believe what I said. So his attorney, which I think this is going to fail, I, I don't see how they can get away with that. It's too much evidence with body cams and people also filming this on the sidewalk for him to get away with, oh, it was a fentanyl overdose that killed him. I don't see it working. But y'all, please tell me what you think. You can't put nothing past this old lame ass system. That's why it's falling apart and failing. They can't even keep their system intact, y'all. This place is falling apart fast. Now, just imagine that. High IQ people that can't keep their system intact. Talked all that mess about a high IQ and being the inventors of everything. And you did worse than every nation on the planet when it comes down to coronavirus. And these are the people that we have to rely on through the legal system. What a damn joke. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.